Hello friends, welcome to Programming Concepts. My name is Amit and this is part 55 of ASP.NET Core MVC tutorial. In this video, we will learn what is Castrol Server and why do we need Castrol Server. This is continuation of part 54, how request flows from browser to server. So please watch it before proceeding with this one. I shared the link in the description. In our previous video, we have seen the importance of web server. We learned the importance of web server software when it comes to receiving HTTP requests. We have also talked about popular web servers available in the market like IIS, Apache, and Nginx. And the title of this video is Castrol Server. There is a very high possibility that you must have heard the word Castrol. Even if you didn't heard this word, no worries. The question which might comes to your mind is, is Castrol also a web server? Why do we need Castrol server if we already have many web servers available in the market? Just stick with us and we will answer all these queries. First, let's understand the problem or pain point of Microsoft. IIS is a Microsoft product, but the problem with IIS, it is only compatible with Microsoft operating system. And it, this compatibility issue is not only a Microsoft concern. Being a Microsoft developer, it is also impact all the Microsoft developers like me and you. We develop our application in .NET framework, but you need Microsoft OS operating system to make it run. If your client have Microsoft platform, then great, no worries. If for any reason your client only have Linux or Mac OS, then it's a good buy to this opportunity. Although previously as well, it is possible to run .NET application on Linux and Mac OS using Mono, this is considered unstable, so no organization goes for this approach. Search for Mono by yourself, not a good idea to cover Mono in this video. Microsoft understand this problem and in response came up with Kestrel Web Server to make its application platform independent. So yes, Kestrel is another web server, which is a cross-platform, open source, and also works with reverse proxy server. We'll talk about reverse proxy later to avoid any confusion. And .NET Core with Kestrel Server is now ready to compete with other popular web servers because now with Kestrel, .NET Core applications are platform independent. Not truly really platform independent, but support Linux and Mac OS as well. Let's try to understand what different options we have when it comes to using web server for ASP.NET Core applications. Let's say our application is hosted on a Windows server or laptop. When browser sends a request to receive this request, we can install IIS in our Windows server, a more traditional approach where IIS will take the responsibility to receive requests and communicate with our application. Right, being a Microsoft product, being a Windows product, our .NET Core application are capable to run without Kestrel when it comes to Windows platform with the help of IIS. When it comes to security, when it comes to supporting, when it comes to management, when we have Windows platform or we develop our application in .NET, there is no better alternative than IIS. So you can opt for IIS. Your .NET Core application will work without any issue. But but Kestrel is a lightweight server and Microsoft put every possible effort to make Kestrel the fastest web server in the world. I don't have any stats, but I guess Kestrel is the fastest web server available in the market. As Kestrel is a web server, it can act as a public facing web server. This means we can install the Kestrel web server instead of IS and our .NET Core application will work. So this is the second approach when it comes to web server selection for Windows platform. All right. But the problem with Castrol is that being lightweight, 
it is faster than IIS, but it lacks lots of features like there is no management console, no support for Windows authentication, no support for port sharing, no HTTP access logs, no HTTP redirect rules, etc. etc. In simple terms, Kestrel is very basic web server, whereas IIS is a full blown feature rich web server. And even Microsoft suggests not to use Kestrel as a public facing web server. So, what should we do now? We came back to square one. Again, it's all about IIS. And the answer is no. Now, with .NET Core, we can hide Kestrel behind any main server. Here, first, we are talking about Windows. So, when the request came from the browser, we put IIS as a public facing server then this is will act as a gatekeeper and check whether the request is correct or not and if it is a valid request it will pass it to kestrel and then our kestrel server will communicate to our application but as per microsoft and this is the line from microsoft's official site performance tests indicate that hosting a dotnet core app in process delivers significantly higher request throughput compared to hosting the app out of process and proxying request to Kestrel. We haven't covered in proc and out of process, but understand this when we hide Kestrel behind main server, Kestrel is not as fast as compared to its raw form because we have now two servers communicating with each other. All right. Next, what if we have any other platform like Linux? Then obviously, IIS is not an option because IIS is only compatible with Windows. So one option is, if our request came from the browser, we can put Kestrel as a public facing web server that will communicate with our application hosted on non-Windows platform. But the problem still continues. We know Kestrel is not a full blown web server. So what we will do? When the request came, then we will put Apache or Nginx or similar full feature web server which will receive a request, validate and pass it to Kestrel. Then Kestrel communicates with your application. Simple, extremely simple. I hope you understand these approaches. The first approach where we hosted IIS without Kestrel, Microsoft gives it a special name and they call this approach in process hosting. Why in process? We'll discuss this in our upcoming videos. The second approach where we put Kestrel behind IIS, Microsoft call it out of process hosting. Again, why out of process? We'll discuss this in our upcoming videos. The only important thing to remember is that these names in process and out of process only applicable when IIS is involved. All right. Another approach is where we put Kestrel as a public facing web server. This approach is known as self hosting in its own process. Also, the approach where we hosted our Kestrel server behind other popular or powerful web servers, then these powerful web servers are known as reverse proxy servers. Simple, it's just a naming convention. Do not worry about implementation, we will cover everything. It will be as simple as writing in process or out of process in Notepad++. Simple, extremely simple. Let's just quickly recap. The Kestrel web server is a new web server as a part of ASP.NET Core. Preferred web server for all new ASP.NET applications, lightweight and built for speed. Kestrel is open source web server. It is recommended to use other famous and powerful web servers like IIS, Apache or Nginx as a reverse proxy server when run Kestrel for public websites. Cross-platform. Do not worry about implementation. We will cover everything in our upcoming videos. Alright then, that's it in this video. If you have any queries related to the content of this video, do ask me in the comments. Till then, thanks for watching.